Okay, so the first one we're going to start with is forma. I referenced this last lecture, the define, wherever it went. This is our hands-free headpiece. This has a forma on it, but I skipped over it. The Optimus has a forma. We love our forma, and I'm a fearful, friends, that those of you who have it had tucked it in a closet because this was one of the first things InMode came out with. This is what Kim Kardashian actually put, they put us on the map because Kim K got caught on her stories rubbing this on her cheeks. Everyone was like, what is that? And it's InMode's forma. And so this was many, many six years ago. And so now that we have all these hands-free, cool things and Morpheus, everyone forgets of their forma, and it's simply because they don't know how to place it in the practice. So let me help you. I'll show you how we place our forma in the practice. And it's the hands-on approach. I just got through all morning squawking at you about the hands-free approach and the power of a hands-free approach. And now, I'm, now you're like, you're going to try to sell me on a hands-on? Well, yes, that's my job. So let me unpack it for you. The hands-on approach, ladies. Um, I make a lot of statements about you. That's for a few reasons. 99.99999% of my patients are females. Now that is drastically changing in our current society. The male uh, segment is the fastest growing segment in our space. But 99% of my patients are females and I have two daughters and a wife. So I know, I th at least I think I know, and I've been married 22 years. So I think I know a lot about you. But I'm consistently learning new things about you every day. And this is one of the things that I learned about you is that when we're thinking about the hands-on approach, I'm like, gosh, how do I position this? How do I describe this? And then it, it hit me one day that my wife, who I love dearly, as she went to the salon. Now, ladies, when you go to get your hair done, especially if it's a color day, if it's a cut color, or man, good heavens, if it's an extension day, you're gone for eight hours. And I don't know what happens in there but this is what I've learned. This is one of the new things. I learned that Amy leaves like this, which is a cute cut that she likes occasionally, and she leaves for eight hours and comes back like this. You like my hair? She thinks just got it. Like magic, I see it. right? I I want it. And so, it. Yeah, I tell want me if I'm wrong, it. ladies, but once you find someone that does the color it. right, the cut right, the extensions right, and these are the expensive ones that get sewn in, right? You like and so hair. once you find that provider that does that, that is now the only person in the entire state of Missouri that can do that for you, yes? Like, so, so for example, her stylist moved away two hours away, and Amy still drives two hours when she wants to get her hair done. So here's what I learned through this process, is what she really values besides the result, and you all are gonna provide good results just simply by default, because this equipment's office, awesome. What she truly values besides that result is time with Brittany. Brittany's her hairstylist, and ever since we've been able to be blessed enough to afford expensive haircuts, Amy has gone to Brittany, which is like many years now. So they have this thing, and I can imagine, in my head, I've never been to this appointment, but I know 